We talk about you just about every day. Aww. <laughs> yes. We just love, 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 love you. Yes. yes. The One of the um, practices that we're going to share today is about what did we like to do as girls mm -hmm. when we were playing. For example, I used to be kind of solitary, but I, I used to really love to move around and skip around. And I wasn't like sitting at home with the dolls type of a girl. I love to sing for dead bugs and weird <laughs> stuff like that. Um, and now it's exactly what I like to do. I like this idea of moving around and meeting people. And that's one thing where I would like to ask us to share. I do remember that me and my sisters, we used to always, always, always clear the whole front room, move the couches all up against the wall, and we would do this performance to any song they would do. But they always chose me to sing. It's always me. Get up there, Lily. Get up there, Lily. And they would be in the background doing a little dance moves or whatever. And still to this day, I I can't go a day without singing. I I remember making mud pies. Like like plant, like not just mud pies, but like whole dinners. And I think that's because we were so po, not poor, P-O-O-R. We, we couldn't afford the O and the R. We, we were po, I'm telling you now. I would be in the company of who I chose. It could be like, um, like you said, a king or queens or something like that, or like my favorite, like um, animal or something, because I'm an <laughs> animal person. Like uh, Miss Lily said, a queen motivational. We all, we too, performed for our Care Bears, our Barbies, and would set them up on the bed. And my sister would be like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> introducing Sarah. And I'd come out and be like, yeah. <laughs> and we'd sing, we'd make up songs as we go along. It was a lot of fun. And we'd put our best clothes on to perform, turn the, flick the lights <laughs> on and off for the, the <laughs> spotlight, all type of stuff. but. I'll say about nine or ten years old, I found myself liking to teach. And so I would gather all the neighborhood kids and I would be the teacher. <laughs> I would make little worksheets and we would go on field trips and I had like them make their parents sign permission slips. Like it was so much fun. So how do we honor our stories enough? to quiet those voices inside of us that are like, ah, that doesn't matter. Your voice doesn't matter. Or like, that's not important. Or like, what, you really think you're gonna do this? Who you think you are? Those voices need to really, really be quieted. We want to use the breathing and the listening to relax inside. Not outside the way we look, but inside. How does it feel to breathe? and overcome that sense of anxiety that sometimes when we calm down and we connect with creativity and vulnerability, we start to panic a little. Mm -hmm. There's so much in there, yes. right? So we want to use the breath to navigate that a little bit, right? So if you feel a little anxious or agitated or you need to move, do that. That's right. All right, so oftentimes we're holding our body up, so let's make sure we roll the shoulders on the back. Start to relax your cheeks. Take a deep breath in, yawn. <sighs> That's another thing that girls are told not to do, which is to open our mouth and be wild. So let's just do that. <laughs> Good 
you're going to stretch the body, do things that make you feel good and that feel comfortable to you only. So if it only means like just being here, that's it. If it means like skipping and moving and actually dancing, do that. I'm gonna breathe in, let it out, and down the breath. All the way up above the head. Ah! The last one, breathing in. So in this next part of the class, we are going to start composing your own monologue, which will become then, you know, your piece. The prompt, you can write it. I am your voice and this is what I want you to know. Ready? Breathe in. And go. Okay, so we're not going to comment. You can opt out. You don't have to read it. In case there's parts of it or one word that comes out, whatever you like. Would you like to start? I am your voice and this is what I want you to know. I want you to know you have purpose, great purpose. You are meant for greatness. I am someone who's determined to make a difference and empower those who needs to be empowered. Together, we will win. You are destined to help others, and in order to do that, you have to first learn how to help yourself. I'm a survivor. I don't have to hold back anymore. I don't have to be a people pleaser. I can just be me. We do have a voice, and we matter, and we count. And with my voice, no one or anything will hold us back. Even in a darkest situation as this, there's fear light at the end of the tunnel and you can make it to the end of the tunnel. I never had to use my voice. I can bring out the child that didn't get a chance to do this and didn't get a chance to do that. Hopefully she gets her groove back. I was a hollow shell when I got here. I didn't realize that I had an inside living a life of abuse, you tend to not live. Every fearful affliction. So I've been able to live since I had this class.